Hello everybody, hi, how are you? I hope you're having an amazing day today. My name is Cristela and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to start exploring The Sims Medieval. Specifically speaking, I'm going to design my character's appearance on the game, adjust my living space and possibly by the end of the video choose my first quest. For starters, I decided to name my kingdom Bubuland because I consider it a very cute name and it definitely fits the aesthetic I'm going for here. Bubu is a cute name my partner and I call koalas and since Australia basically has many Bubus, this is how we've named the country. So starting from my character, as you can see in my profile picture, on my channel that is, I love all shades of pink on hair but I also love every shade of purple as a color too. So I decided to go with a pale, rosy, pinky, long hair, even though I'm more of a shoulder length hair fan, I sadly didn't have such pretty choices for the crown types, so I went with that one. I added a little bit of lilac on some hair strands, you know, just, just a tint of purple, you know, just the purple hue in the hair in order to make it look more cool toned, that is. Um, I know it's not realistic because obviously people couldn't bleach and dye their hair back then in medieval times, but hey, why not? It's a game. I chose light hair, darker clothes, and not the other way around because I think that's more unique. I always use different personality traits for my sims because I think that it makes the quests they will choose in the future different and the choices they make adjust to that as well, so that's pretty interesting to observe, in my opinion. Since Cristela is a monarch in this scenario, I chose to combine solidarity with the negative thing of misanthropy to see if it will affect her choices as a queen in the future, but I gave, I gave her eloquency because I think that's a useful talent for politicians, so, you know, these may seem opposite traits, but I don't know, I would like to see how they're going to work out, basically. Um, what differentiates this version of The Sims with others is the fact that each sim you create here must have a role in the kingdom and they choose to do quests that are fitting to their traits. Throughout those quests, they earn points, depending on how well they'll do, and that gives them the ability to eventually expand the universe. I personally think it's really interesting. I don't hear that many people talking about Sims Medieval anymore, and I haven't played it in years, so I was like, that's some sort of unique content for my channel, why not? I only own Sims 2 and Sims 3, since I couldn't afford to purchase them. I have them because I knew some people who didn't want them anymore. Back in the game, the palace has in total three rooms on the bottom floor and three rooms on the top floor. The throne room, a room on its right for professional use, and a waiting room to chill, as I call it. And on the top floor, we have the bathroom, the master bedroom, and the kitchen. I'm a very annoying, indecisive person, so I'm terribly sorry for taking 10,000 years to decide what table I'm going to use, for example. Also, I used Motherload, the gold cheating code. It's the only cheating code I use every time on The Sims, in any Sims, because I want to be able to buy any furniture I like in order to fit the aesthetic, because that seems important to me right now, so... I'm sorry about that too. First of all, I emphasize on the throne room. I wanted it to be purple because, you know, it fits the monarch's aesthetic, but dark and mysterious at the same time. I don't care as much for the other two rooms on the side. Um, on the top floor, I basically gave a different theme to each room. I wanted the bathroom to feel earthy, the bedroom personal and peaceful, and the kitchen vibrant and lively. If you have any questions, by the way, about any action I'm performing on the screen right now, please do tell me in the comment section down below. I will be delighted to respond. Now, I think it's an appropriate opportunity to catch up, as, you know, you observe my movements on The Sims. Um, I apologize for being unable to create videos and upload this past few months. Truth be told, there were multiple things happening and changing in my life, so I was trying to adjust and figure out what I'm going to do in the future. There was a period where I was in a really dark place mentally and emotionally, um, around the beginning of January, maybe end of December. It was, it was really bad for me that time and, 
you know, I was just trying to figure out what I'm going to do and how I can get out of there. Um, emotionally, I felt also very drained. So any creative inspiration I had disappeared and it was kind of hard for me to go from ideas to actually creating and editing a video. So I was like, I can't upload like that. It, I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't bring me happiness anymore. So this is why I stopped. But I, I did have in mind that I want to continue it in the future. So thankfully, here I am. Um, I also officially finished college. I haven't received my degree though yet. And with the virus outbreak and everything getting canceled, I have no idea when I will. I also took a vacation to New York on February, which truly made me the happiest I've ever felt in my entire life. And those two weeks were extremely important to me and my growth as a person. So I seriously needed that. And I, I, I may do a video about it, about my trip in the future. Maybe I can help some of you with the budget because I had a relatively tight budget. I mean, I had some savings throughout all those years that I have uh, been to university and working and all that. So I, I spent it there and I had an amazing time and zero regrets, honestly. I wish I had stayed for longer, but that wasn't possible. Um, and I was, until very recently, in the process of looking for a job until everything in my country started closing due to the virus and now I'm quarantined at home, sadly, I'm really bored because I finally convinced myself to actually go out and look for a job and start collecting money. I did find a job. I ended up hating it after just four days of work there. Like it was really bad and it was really draining for my personality. So I decided to quit because I, I just couldn't keep going there. I couldn't convince myself without crying every time I woke up to actually go and work there for eight hours. Um, I generally have a very, very big, tremendous, gigantic hate for retail and promotion jobs. And they kind of lied to me during the job interview because they told me I would just have to renew telecommunication um, contracts basically that were about to expire so there weren't really a lot of promotion for these type of jobs but then they told me like look we don't have a lot of positions left there so guess what you're getting into promotion and I'm like I can't do that but I kind of need the money to finally start planning for my future you know um, so I was like, I'm going to give it a go. But honestly, like it was really bad. Like I had to achieve certain sale numbers every day, which is really depressing, honestly. And I had to pester people through the phone to actually buy shit. And I'm like, what on earth? Like, I don't want to do that. I can't do that. I'm going to quit and find another job. And just when I decided that everything started closing. And I'm like, great. Um, and I was like, what am I going to do now that I'm at home, you know? And I, I created this short mini video that many people loved and I'm really happy because that, that seems to mean that it brought them happiness. I'm talking about Tauntaun friends dancing to everybody by the Backstreet Boys. And honestly, that video was really funny. It was kind of a spare of the moment thing and I'm really, really happy to, to have created something like that. Maybe I'll do more in the future. Because it was short, like I did it pretty quickly, but it was effective and I'm glad about it. Um, and definitely I will do covers and stuff like that in the future, but I want to maybe one day be able to shoot a video where I show you myself, um, answer some questions about myself. Um, but in any case, if you have any specific ideas, you can always tell them to me in the comment section down below. What I'm pretty sure I'm definitely not going to continue is the Buffy, the Vampire Slayer review series because I don't know, I'm kind of not in the mood to create something that complicated anymore. Those videos took weeks for me to prepare because I don't have like a lot of editing skills and the program I use, which is Lightworks, is pretty simple. To, to, for, for someone to be able to do something that 
complicated, you know, but I find other programs with more um, abilities very complicated for me. Like I, I kind of can't understand it and it seems like a lot of trouble to go through just for YouTube and for something that doesn't speak volumes to me. So I'm like, I'm not doing that. Um, in any case, I think that's pretty much what I have to tell you news about myself. Um, I hope you are well too. Um, I hope we can catch up in the comments down below. I always respond. Like you can just say hi if you feel very shy. Um, I will I will still see it and respond to that because I really appreciate people watching my YouTube videos. Like seriously, clicking on the thing and actually watching it or listening to me talk, I definitely appreciate it. And I want you to know that. So that's pretty much it for me. I will leave you to enjoy the rest of the video. But before I go, I would like to say something about the quest I'm going to choose. Um, the problem with medieval is that it has a lot of violence against animals. And I'm completely against that. Uh, I mean, I know that sounds kind of ridiculous because we're talking about a game, but as much as I can avoid it, I will. So I went for the um, quest that gave me the most points, the, the most QTs. I don't know what that means, but whatever this is what it's called. Um, but I did have a few things to choose from. So I went for the one that would be challenging enough for Cristela, but at the same time wouldn't require her to be violent and I tried to avoid that as much as possible. We're going to complete this um, this quest on the next video and create a second character which is going to be really important but I'm not going to spoil it just yet. In any case I hope if you actually sat through this entire video you actually enjoyed it um, I look forward to your feedback always and I'm going to see you on the next one really, really soon. Bye bye!